Welcome to this video. The purpose of what I'm doing here is to demonstrate how you can use Google Forms, Google Sheets, and Google Calendar to create a data entry system that will automatically store, sort, and graph your data for you. If you are working in a school system or a setting where maybe you don't have access to Catalyst or the other amazing data collection and organization software that is available. Um, this could be really beneficial for you, or if this is something that you'd like to set up for a college class or something like that. Um, all the information that I'm going to share with you is information that I gathered from the Google Certified Educator courses. They're free online. So if you're interested in learning some more education-specific Google tips, tricks, and strategies, it's a really valuable opportunity. It is fairly lengthy and involved, but if you're not looking to become fully certified, you do have the option to skip around to what you are interested in. So I'm going to use some things I've learned about forms, Google Sheets, and Google Calendars to demonstrate one way you can set up a data entry and collection system that is fairly um, self-sufficient once it's set up. It t it's going to take me less than an hour. So what I've done here is I've used my Google Drive to create a spreadsheet, which I named Data for Test Class. I've created a Google Form that's called Data for Test Student. I've put in some um, basic questions. I'm just going to pretend my test student's a very early learner. Um, so the first question is always going to be date. I need that information to be in the date format so that I can, once I have my data in my spreadsheet, I can sort it by date and organize it by date. Um, I'm going to track MANs, I'm going to track ma matching identical objects as a percent accuracy, and I'm going to track hitting. These are all short answer text um, type of questions. That is primarily what you're going to want to use because that is a data format that's going to work very well for Google Sheets in terms of sorting and organizing it. So I have my um, little Google Form. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link this form to the spreadsheet. What will happen when I link it to the spreadsheet is that any data that gets put into this form, let's say I put in data every day or twice a day or whatever works for my program, it's going to go directly into this Google Sheet and just fill it up with the data that I need. All right, so I'm going to go click on Responses, and where it's got the little Google Sheet icon, I'm going to create click cre Blah, excuse me, I'm going to click Create Spreadsheet, and I'm actually going to select an existing spreadsheet. Um, this way, if I have multiple students, I can have them all go to the same spreadsheet and just give each student their own tab, which will make it really easy for me when it comes time to progress monitor um, or do any of those things that tend to be due at the same time. So I'm going to click Select Existing Spreadsheet. And in my Google Docs, I'm just going to go with data for test student. And what it'll do is it'll pop it open. And as you can see, it's already created a new sheet for my student. It's kind of hidden by the, the logo from the software I'm using to record. Let's see if I can pull it out. Nope, it's not going to let me do that. So I'm going to rename it test student after my student. So I could have a sheet for test student. I could have a sheet for test student number two, whatever I need. And as you can see at the top, it's already created a chart of, of all of the questions that are in my form. So as this fills up, it's going to timestamp every entry, um, useful for staff supervision or just for yourself, or you can ignore it. It's going to have the date. It's going to have the number of mans for that date, the, number, the percent of matching identical objects, accuracy, and the number of instances of hitting. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to email this to myself so that I can fill it out and demonstrate how that data is just going to pop right up into the spreadsheet. All right, I'm going to use my personal email because I would rather not have my workplace email. Oops, that is not correct. Gmail.com. Feel free to email me if you're trying to set one of these up and you need some pointers or you need to troubleshoot. I may or may not be able to help, but I'll always do my best. I'm going to go into my email.
and it says I've invited you to fill out a form data for test students. So I'm going to fill out my form. Let's make up some data. It's January 2nd, 2022. So we know there's no session on New Year's. Let's say my student had 50 mans. This could be rate per hour or number per session or however you're counting it. Uh, matching identical objects, he got 100%. And then hitting, let's say, he hit three times. Again, could be rate per hour or um, rate per session, whatever measure you're using. And what you'll notice is it's popped right up in there. All right, so let's say I'm a couple days behind on my data. Bad teacher. And it's a little bit. It's a little bit after January 2nd. Um, let's say on January 3rd, he had 47 mans. He matched with 66% accuracy and he hit five times. All right, and then I'm a little more behind. I've got one more day I gotta catch up on. Oops, that should be four. Mans, he was having a really great day. He had 65 mans, matching identical, 100%, and then hitting only hit one time. Go you, dude. All right, so if I look in my data for test class sheet, I see these three entries right here. I've got all my manding, I've got matching identical objects, and I've got hitting. So this is all of my raw data right here. It's automatically populated in. And what I can do is I can put in a chart with all of this data. So it's automatically going to assume what I want my data range to be. I believe if I just want to do mans by date, I can insert a chart. Thank you for sharing, Google. And I can make this into a line chart as we love an ABA. Um, it's going to give me my dates down here, my mans. It's going to la automatically label everything. And if I want to go in and change it, let's say this is for a research project and I need everything to be black and white, I can go in and change that. I can make the points be all the different ABA points like I might use in a um, research study. One thing I will not be able to do in Google Sheets as of this time is put in phase change lines. So that is not going to be an option. Unfortunately, with Google Sheets, I would have to create multiple charts, one for baseline, one for condition A, one for condition B, whatever I need. But what I can do is I can make all of these charts super handy for the purposes of IEP writing or just general day-to-day -day usage. If I want to, I can copy this chart to my clipboard and then paste it into an IEP or a document or whatever I need. All right, and I can make these charts for all of my targets here. All right, let's say, let's say I work in a school and at the end of the day, my brain is fried and I'm just ready to go home. I can set this up to automatically email me the form so that I always have an email sitting in my inbox when I'm getting ready to go home and I can open that email and click on the form and plug in all that data and just roll on out the door. All right, so I'm gonna say test student data. I want this to pop up at 2 p.m. I don't wanna clutter up my calendar with a bunch of huge appointments, so I'm just gonna say 2 a.m. to or 2 p.m. to 2.05 p.m. I'm going to make this repeat every weekday and in the description if I pop this open I can just get the link for this spreadsheet so if I click send and I click on link it's going to give me this lovely link that is a permanent link it never changes and I can just plonk this in here if I want to be super high-tech and use my um, Google certified educator skills. I could even give the link a fancy name, test student data form, if I want. And then this will automatically email me uh, 
want to go to more options here. I'm going to click email. I want it to email me right on time. So it's going to email me zero minutes before two o'clock. So every day at two o'clock, I'm going to get this email. And then when my students get on the bus, I can open up my email, fill out the form, and everything is good. All right, so this is just going to happen every weekday until I delete the task or I delete the thing. So let me go to this one. I'm going to submit another response. Let's say now it's January 6th. I've gotten back on top of my data because I am using my Google tools, matching identical objects. Ooh, he's getting close to mastery, young man. Awesome news. Submit it. And it should automatically add that to your graph. So it will automatically graph everything for you. And all you need to do when it's time to check your data, review your data, share your data is just open this, copy and paste. And that's it. That is how to set up your own automatic data collection system for free in 